Hi, Craig. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Congratulations on the success of Cruella. Um, I think it's it's blown up in a in a huge way. I was curious for you as the director, you know, this post-release period, what's been the most rewarding part of this whole experience of, of having Cruella be so beloved and embraced by fans? I mean, that's that's been incredibly gratifying. And I, I love that it's connected with people. It's like, you know, you live in a vacuum a little bit and you go with your instincts as you're making it and you hope that that will reach a larger audience. And, um, I, you know, to see it happen has been amazing. It's funny, I had a, uh, a six-year-old niece come over <clears throat> like last month and she absolutely so excited about Corella and her friend had videotaped she dressed up in it you know as Corella and videotaped a bunch of questions that she wanted to ask me <laughs> that's adorable um it, there's also been a, a lot of um celebrities and, and uh kind of pop culture icons commenting on Corella recently I think Britney Spears on Instagram confessed that she's watched it three or four times a day recently uh what do you think it is about about this film and this story um that is that is causing um so many people to um fall in love with with a character who, who has for all of her eternity been um mostly despised you know, I think it's a, you know, and a credit to Disney when we were really trying to figure out the theme of this and what it was, you know, this is a, this is a story about a young, a young girl that has this incredible talent that has been suppressed and partly because of, you know, where she, where she was in, in the sixties in London and, you know, going outside of the coloring outside of the lines and that she's not, she's not embracing her true self. And that's the struggle that she has throughout the film of what that true self is and even if it even if it goes against like her upbringing or her nurturing that she's really got to like you know lean into that eventually and i think that resonates hopefully yeah absolutely i know that's uh definitely part of why i fell in love with it so much i have to ask um how is wink and has he let the fame uh and success go to his head wink got adopted by the trainer he's like he stole everybody's heart and and wink like on the set uh, not to put the other dogs down, but Wink was the the, the, the surprise and, and the, you know, the standout because nearly every, you know, we'd turn around and be like, hey, can you can you have Wink like just run back and forth and when he gets sprayed, play dead? And she's like, okay. And he'd just do it. And the whole crew would stand there like dumbfounded. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I um, he's on my my photograph list. Uh, I'm not I'm not usually easily star starstruck, but uh, if I saw Wink in person, I don't think I'd be able to yeah, help myself. Yeah, he stole everyone's time. There was a scene where he's growling at the bodyguards up on the, the second floor there, and I'm shooting, pushing in on him, and he's there growling. And I turn around, and everybody behind me is laughing, and I thought maybe I'd missed a joke or something. <laughs> I'm like, what are you guys all laughing about? And they're like, it's Wink. <laughs> <laughs> He, he uh, no no offense to the Emmas, but Wink steals um, yeah. the show if he's if he's in a scene. He he just chews them all up, um, and no one can compete. Uh, now Cruella is coming out on September twenty first on disc on Blu ray and four K ultra high definition. That gives access to bonus features that fans won't find on Disney Plus. Did you have a hand in curating any of the uh, the supplemental features that fans can look forward to? I mean, I think we have a couple of scenes that we've put on. It's amazing how much made it into the film. Um, so yeah, there's a, I think a, a, maybe a couple of Baroness Corella scenes. Um, that's what I know about right now. I know from the list they sent me, I haven't seen them yet, but I know bloopers are on there too. Oh yeah, um, the bloopers are, yeah. I saw the blooper thing, that is great. Is, are there any like specific um, hilarious moments that you remember from set that that fans are going to go crazy over when they see the blooper reel? You know, it's. I wish I had an answer for you there. So I mean, there was, it was such there was such a great camaraderie on the set, and there was a lot of, I, you know, I try to keep the set loose and fun, and like particularly when you're dealing with, I mean, all of them, even the even Emma Thompson as the Baroness, you'll see there's a lot of laughter on the bloopers, and uh, you know, Horace and Jasper and, and Emma where they're in a scene together. The amount of improvising going on and the banter is always is always really fun. So I'm sure there's stuff in there. Yeah, well, I, I can't wait to see it. Congratulations again. You can get Cruella Home on Blu-ray 4K Ultra High Definition with these bonus features on September 21st. Obviously, the film is available to obsess over on Disney Plus until that time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care.